In the midst of this whole outbreak thing, I wanted to share with everybody something that I do in my personal life that in my opinion will help prevent you from getting sick and that is washing your fruits and vegetables with soap and water. I know this sounds crazy, but I started doing this years ago. I was working on this documentary called From Farm to Trash, having a discussion with these guys in the food industry and they were talking about organic fruits and vegetables and how they still use pesticides and they're contaminated. And I said, well, why don't we just wash them with soap and water instead of just rinsing them with water? And what we found was after washing them with soap and water, they had not only almost zero pesticides present on the skin, but also the amount of bacteria and viruses was almost eliminated. So it was really interesting to me. And ever since that day, I've been washing my fruits and vegetables with soap and water. And I'm going to show you how. The idea is pretty simple, but I want to show you exactly how I do it to avoid any sort of confusion at first. Wet it down with some soap. Pretty much just how you're supposed to wash your hands is how I wash my fruits and veggies. Suds it up, rinse it off, rinse my hands off at the same time. And as you can see, it's already squeaky clean. And I'm pretty positive that this has helped me prevent getting sick multiple times because before I started doing this, I used to get sick all the time when I would eat fruits and vegetables. And what people are worried about with washing, you know, their fruits and veggies with soap and water is some sort of, you know, residual or contamination. But in reality, as long as you rinse it off real good, like for instance, an apple, tomato, peach, a lot of fruits and veggies are waterproof. So there's no real way that the, the soap is going to get inside of the actual fruit or vegetable. And this is the way I do it. I'm gonna do a tomato, just to give you one more demonstration. You can see that it comes with some type of either wax or oil, probably put on there for transportation or processing. And that uh, doesn't seem like something the water will take off. As you can see, I put water and it's still, that coating is still there. Let me show you how I wash my tomatoes. Be nice and gentle. And that's it. And I mean, you can clearly see the way the water is beating up. I mean, this is clean. This is super clean now. So these are washed and as you can see, I mean, they not only look really clean, but they just feel clean. It just, just holding the apple, it just feels clean. I know it sounds weird, but try it out for yourself and tell me what you think. I mean, it just feels different. Not only did I want to show people how I wash my fruits and vegetables, I also wanted to make people more aware that viruses not only transmit through hand-to-hand -hand contact and touching your face and eyes afterwards, or if somebody sneezes close to you and you breathe it in, viruses also transmit through the carts that people touch, the baskets in the grocery store, the items people touch on the shelves, and fruits and vegetables that people touch, and then you grab them and you touch your hands and nose or maybe even eat them without washing them and then you get sick. So I'm really looking forward to what people think about my crazy method here. I've been doing it for a long time and I honestly think that this has helped me prevent getting sick multiple times. That's my opinion. But tell me what you think in the comments below and uh, yeah, hopefully this video helps you prevent getting sick. That's it, see you next time.